Hi guys, Steady Eddie here, this time coming to you from Phnom Penh in Cambodia. Now in this video I want to talk about a subject that a lot of you have asked about, a lot of the regular subscribers of this channel, the subject of ladies, bar girls, bar finds, what is the script in this day and age? Now as some of you will know, we've watched my channel for a few years, Phnom Penh and, and Cambodia is an old favourite of mine. I've been coming here for many, many, many years and I've had some truly great times over the years. One of the more wonderful things about Phnom Penh, what I've always said, is that it, it's, it's really the only capital where the prices of things are not significantly higher than they are in the rest of the country. At least that used to be the case, but is it the case now? Well, let's talk a little bit about that. Let's just say, first of all, that Phnom Penh is a, a good, still a good value city for hotels, food, drink, all that kind of stuff. But when you hit the nightlife areas and you, you go hunting for ladies, as, as men, men do, you will see a different, different story. And basically, to put it bluntly, in this video, with regards to the ladies, I have got some good news and some bad news. Okay, so first the good news. The good news is that along the riverside area of Phnom Penh, the well-known streets of 136 and, you know, a couple of others, there is a lot of girls here. There is a lot of girls. Now, whereas other places like Thailand, Pattaya, where, wherever, appear to be suffering by the lack of girls and the lack of quality of girls, and it's, it's well documented by now, here, the nightlife in, in the Riverside area, Phnom Penh, is swamped with lovely, lovely females. There's lots of lovely females. I went down 136th Street uh, the, the other night, and there was, Jesus, outside some of those bars, I couldn't believe how many lovely women there were. There were. Uh, they all look like a nice age, 20s, well, you know, maybe maybe 30, whatever, 30, whatever, whatever. But there were so many lovely, lovely girls. There was one bar, I can't name it, but oh God, I, my eyes just popped out. I can't believe how many girls are outside there. Uh, it really, really does look very, very healthy. I mean, this place here does not seem to have any problem getting girls to come and work in their bars. I mean, you know, they are all there. There's, there's tons of them. I mean, that, is the, that sounds like the really good news. Added to that, and you may consider this to be good news as well, it's noticeable there's a serious, serious lack of tourists, lack of customers for these bars. I mean, the, the women outnumber the men. Oh, I can't put a face. If you say 10 to 1, if you say more than that, far more women than, than there are fe fellas. Now, you may think, Jesus, this sounds great. I'm booking a flight. I'm going to book a flight. I'm booking a flight out there Im immediately. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not as simple as that. Let me just add to that. that if you used to say to a guy back in England who'd never, ever been out, out in this part of the world, if, if, if you were to tell him exactly what I've just told you, like, you know, there's so many lovely women and hardly any, any, any fellas there, a lot of guys would think, oh, my God, that is fantastic. That is paradise. That sounds like heaven. Wait a minute. It's not as simple as that. If you go into the bars here, uh, you, you know, you, you're just a solo traveler. You're just wandering into a bar. You, you may be the only customer in there, and they will swamp you. They will swamp you. They will, in, in no time at all, they are all they are surrounding you, you know, harassing you. Somebody comes along and you wants to massage you, and other girls are in your face, and, you know, they all want you to buy them drinks, lady drinks, all this kind of stuff. And it can be a bit overbearing. It really, really can. There's probably a certain type of character who would think, yeah, man, come on, brilliant. But, you know, not, not me. I mean, it can be a bit overbearing. And really, when you get in that situation, you may find yourself thinking to yourself, oh, God, I don't know. I mean, it'd be bloody... It'd be, it'd be good if a couple of guys walked into this bar right now to just simply to, to take the pressure off me. So we've done a little bit about the good news up to now. Yeah, loads of women about, no doubt about that. Um, and very, very few, a serious, serious lack of uh, customers for these bars. Serious lack. That's the good news, okay. So now let's talk about the not-so-good news. The not-so-good news. The prices for everything. The prices for having fun with the ladies. The, uh, the bad news is, is that things are now more expensive. Phnom Penh 
It used to be very, very reasonable, even if he won fun with the ladies, it used to be very, very reasonable at one time. No more. It doesn't seem that way anymore. Prices have seriously, seriously, seriously gone up. So what are we talking about here? Uh, what is the cost of having fun with the ladies here? Uh, I have, obviously have to phrase this in a very, very subtle way. Um, but uh, anyway, the, with regards to the ladies, I'll tell you my own experience. You know, I, I, I had a few quiet, quiet uh, days when arriving there. And then I went into a bar, uh, which was an old favourite of mine, not on the main th uh, 136 drag. Um, it was what it was, you know, another bar in one of the other other street, but it was an old favourite of mine, one where I used to like going to. Okay, I went into the bar there, and there were girls outside, and I opened the door, and there was absolutely no customers in there. I walked in, you know, ordered a drink, and a beautiful girl, oh my God Almighty, a beautiful Cambodian girl came and sat down beside me. She was 27 years of age and spoke barely a word of English. I and mean, I don't really speak any, well, I don't speak any Cambodian. Okay. But she sat there and um, I, looked at, I looked at her and 27 years of age, actually she looked at maybe a couple of years older than that, but she was so well dressed and I looked and I thought, my God Almighty, it just... It reminds me, you know, Cambodians, you know, well, Cambodian ladies can be seriously, seriously, seriously good looking. She was one fine looking, fine looking girl, woman. Abs absolutely, no question about it. And she just sat there, she's waiting for the offer for a lady drink, this sort of stuff. So I bought her a lady drink. Now there's various price of a lady drinks, but the, the standard lady drink is $4.50. There were other lady drinks on the offer, you know, lady drink wine, lady drink cocktail, which were more expensive than all that. No, sorry about that, you know. Lady drink standard, $4.50, okay? So I bought her a lady drink, um, and uh, you know, you know, I had a couple of glasses of wine myself at about $4, $4 a piece, very, very nice wine. And as I looked at this lady, I thought, my God, oh my. No, I actually wasn't out for a woman on that particular night. I, I, I wasn't. Because, you know, I've had a bit of a, you know, uh, you know a bit of a rough, rough day. And really, I just wanted to pop my head into the, this, this bar this <coughs> uh, that I used to know quite well in the, pa in the past. But I thought, you know, I could always arrange something uh, with, with it tomorrow or, or whatever. So I said to the, 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 uh, the woman behind the bar who, who could speak English, I said, you know, how much bar fine? Uh, she said twenty dollars. Oh, geez, that's gone up a bit, hasn't it? Twenty dollars. That's gone up a bit. And um, and then I said, and if I meet Lady Tamara, how much does she want? And the the, the bar bar uh, barmaid uh, bar, get one behind the bar said to me, two hundred dollars. I said okay. Is this a joke? Is that a joke? Is the two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars? I mean, that's kind of extortionate, especially you know when there's not much difference between a dollar and a UK pound in this. Two hundred dollars plus three lady drinks. Yeah, that's. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke. So I, I bought a couple of drinks and I, I said, listen, you know, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow. You know, I'll come back tomorrow. We'll see this, 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 this lady. She's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I left the bar late, late, at, late at night. And um, I had a couple more drinks somewhere else. And then I went to another bar close to the hotel where I was staying. And had a couple of drinks there. And then went alone back to the hotel. And as I was walking through the reception of the hotel, there was some people at the left. There was three people. There was a porter. There was a, I believe he was a French guy. And they were both in the left. But there was a Cambodian girl, a feisty Cambodian girl, who was refusing to get in the lift. And she was shouting, No! I want $200! And then the lift door closed and the Cambodian girl stormed off. And the uh, guy in the lift, I got in the lift with the other two people. And I said to the, I believe he was a French guy, what, what's, what was that all about? You know, no, you know, you know what <laughs> Oh, okay. I thought about this. That's actually the second time within an hour that I've heard that figure of $200. So perhaps it wasn't a joke. 
I mean, it seems to me that uh, I assess the situation. It seems to me this guy's probably met her in a, in, a, in a bar. He's probably paid a bar fine. He's probably bought a lady drinks. But he won't agree to the two hundred dollars. You know, and he's he's you know she's tagged along and then stormed off, and he's left. Uh, yeah, you know, he, he, he's left with nothing. But basically, so this is just my first little observation. You know, testing the water in non pen. So after testing the water and not getting off to a very good start. I ventured around the 136 area, the main nightlife area in Riverside, Phnom Penh. And I must say, it got a little bit better. I went into bars, I met ladies, I bought lady drinks, I asked questions. And yes, it seems that you can get better value than, uh, than what I initially heard. But it's no doubt about it. I mean, Phnom Penh, if you want ladies, they've gone more expensive here. There's no set rules or anything like that. There's definitely no set prices. If a girl girl's really good looking, she knows she's good looking, and she's going to command a higher price. But basically, you can meet girls here for, you know, maybe a long time might well be $100, or, you know, a bar fine might well be $15. You, you may get it cheaper than that, but, you know, <laughs> you'd have a tendency to get what you pay for here. There are no set rules, no set prices, and the girls will get what they can get. Overall, things have definitely become more expensive uh, in the, the girly bar scene in Phnom Penh, no doubt about it. I mean, I, mean I, I don't get it. I don't get it. There are so many lovely girls there and so few customers. So what is the logic behind commanding high prices? Do you not think that if they commanded more reasonable prices they may get more customers or whatever let me explain but Phnom Penh is is not a Pattaya it, it, it doesn't have go-go bars it doesn't have the the massage I've heard some you know sh shady things about the massages uh, here in Phnom Penh but they were never very good anyway yeah you, you know a lot of people tell me you can get ripped off in the massages here which is something that, that's never happened to me in Thailand but it doesn't have the go-go bar scene it doesn't have the beach it doesn't have anything like that so really, for the single male traveller, really what, what it had going for it, it was um, a great night, nightlife scene in the Riverside area. But that is now very, very expensive if you, if you want to pursue the ladies. So really, um, I, don't get the, I don't get the logic. I mean, you, you know, loads of lovely girls around, very few customers, high prices. Can you make any sense out of that? Let me know in the comments. So, who does Phnom Penh, Riverside area, girly bar scene, appeal to in this day and age? Well, quite simply, it appeals to the guys who've got deep pockets. If, if, if you are one of those guys who've, you know, got shed loads of money and you, uh, you get a real buzz out of the girly bar scene and you like going in bars and ringing bells and running up massive bills for everyone and want to take five or six girls per night back to your five-star hotel room, then this is the place for you. I mean, there's tons of ladies out there, absolutely tons of them, and uh, they're all just dying to meet you, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, you, you know, you, if, you, if money is no object, you, you could probably go in those bars, uh, Mr. Deep Pockets, and, and uh, you, you could have the time of your life. You probably think you're in heaven. You think you're in paradise. Abs absolutely. Good luck to you. I wish I was you. Uh, so, yeah, um, you know, it, it, it really, really is geared up to the guys who've got serious amounts of money and are prepared to spend serious amounts of money, except... I don't even see lots of those guys around. I see very, very few customers around at all. But if you are a mid-range traveller uh, or a, a budget traveller, then, you know, you, you're going to find this place to be very, very expensive. I've spoken to a couple of mid-range travellers and they, um, they think that the prices that the girls are commanding are very, very uh, high right, uh, right now. And as for budget travellers, forget it. If you're a budget traveller and you're interested in exploring Cambodia and Phnom Penh and uh, you, you want to stay in a nice comfortable hotel room 
and eat and drink, then you will find it to be very, very reasonably priced. Phnom Penh, Cambodia, still a very, very uh, good, good value place. But as soon as you start hitting the lady, lady bar scene, then your budget will just go through the roof. Uh, you will end up blowing it. You can easily, if you want to live it up in these bars with the ladies, you can, uh, you can blow a small fortune. And a budget traveller simply hasn't got that kind of money. So I, I would not recommend uh, this for budget travellers who want to meet up with ladies. It's not the place right now. So to summarise all of this, in this day and age, uh, who is the Phnom Penh Riverside Gailey Bar scene aimed at? Well, it really, really is aimed at the guys who've got deep pockets. It really, really, really is. If you're a guy who's got, who's got shed loads of money and you want to splash it out and live like a rock star, you could probably do it here. You know, go down to those bars, see how many ladies that uh, there are, and, you know, live like a rock star, splash the cash. Uh, but believe me, you will need those deep pockets. Uh, as for mid-range travellers, well... It's still going to be very, very expensive. If you want to indulge in the ladies, Phnom Penh is not the bargain destination that it once was. No way. Um, so you may want to think about that. So I hope you found this video to be informative if you plan on coming to Phnom Penh. Uh, you know, I, it's, I know, I know it's, it's not all good news at all, but it is what it is. And this is a sign of the times. And I can only tell you what, tell you what I know. Uh, so anyway, I'll say thanks for watching, uh, peace, love and goodwill to everyone, and have a great day, a great evening, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.